Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to try and recreate a Google Material card as seen here using View and Storybook. We're going to start off by creating a View application. I'm going to go with Vid because I find it to be easy to use, but you can choose whichever build tool you like. We're going to give the project a name. I'm going to go with View Storybook Material. Choose View. I'm going to go with plain JavaScript. Once you've done it, just CD into it and run an npm install. Let's run it and make sure everything works. And everything seems to be working pretty fine. So now we can type npx storybook in it, and this will install storybook inside the project. It may take a while, just let it do its thing. Same as before, we're gonna run an npm install and then test out the application. To do so, we're just gonna have to run a storybook script, which will take us to the web interface. Now, the way Storybook works is it's gonna be pre-filled with some templates and some components. And you can see the whole purpose of the application here, which is testing out your application components. Now we're gonna go back to VS Code and write our own component. I'm just gonna call it car.view. Now let's go back to VS Code and write our own component. I'm gonna call it car.view. We're gonna initialize a view component. We're gonna start off with a div. I'm gonna give it a class of card. Let's also put an H4. This is gonna be the title and a paragraph with a secondary text. We're gonna assume that this is gonna come from the props and same goes for the subtext. Once it's done, let's just initialize the component fields. Let's do the same from the props. I'm going to say the title is a string and same goes for the subtext. We're also going to go with a very basic CSS. I'm going to say the card component has a background, a white background color, a thin radius, maybe a little box shadow. I'm going to go with something already prepared here, just a basic width. And there we go. Now this component alone will not be able to be seen by Storybook just yet. We're gonna have to create a script with the very same name as our component. In this case, I'm gonna go with card.stories.js. Now, if we access the Storybook website and navigate to the setup section, we can see some pretty important boilerplate code for our story script. Remember to select your interested framework, in this case, view. We're gonna just go ahead and copy the script and paste it right into our story script. Now let's just make some adjustments. For example, a component name. Let's just go over the code real slowly and understand what's going on. This code is basically giving some settings for the storybook application, such as the title of the component we're gonna view from the website, the component bound to it, which we have to import. We then define a template, which basically contains the HTML that this whole thing is gonna translate to. With the vbind tags, we're gonna make sure that the props correctly gets transported to our component. We can then go ahead and find some different templates. In this case, this is gonna be called first story. And we're just gonna go ahead and simply set the props to whichever string we want. In this case, we're gonna go with title, maybe, and a subtext. Now, if we go ahead, save the file and run the storybook script again, we can navigate to the website and see that our card component has correctly translated. Not only that, but we can also change the props manually from here, which means we can basically change whichever we indicated in the application. In this case, I can go ahead and give an example title. In the next video, we're going to explore on this topic a little bit. Thanks for watching.